All right, hello there, students. Uh, this tutorial is going to teach you how to draw a car, in particular a Lamborghini, from its side view. Whenever you're drawing a car in Inkscape, this is the tutorial I want you to look at in order to figure out how to draw the car. Uh, what we're going to do is find an image first and find the side view of the image. So watch what I do here. Um, you can look up any car that you want. Uh, as long as you type in side view, that'll make it much easier once you start drawing it in Inkscape. And basically, you're just going to copy and paste the image into Inkscape. Uh, and let you do that. About that. Um, and basically, we're going to use the Bezier tool to uh, basically copy or trace the car's outline. Uh, if you get stuck on something, go back. When you're watching this video, don't skip ahead because you'll get confused. What I want you to do though is pause the video after I do a thing. So like right now I'm pasting the image into Inkscape. So pause the video, find your car, copy and paste it into Inkscape, and then proceed. Um, so here I go. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is click on the Bezier tool. So get ready for that. And then I'm literally just going to trace the car uh, using the Bezier tool. And I'm going to uh, click at various points on the car. And this is just something I know how to do. Um, so on each point that I think I need to click, I'm going to click. So uh, watch me do this. And then I want you to do it on yours. So you'll pause the video and then try it on yours. So you see I'm just clicking around several points around the car and uh, figuring that those are the best spots. Uh, the curves, you're going to start off like this um, and then you'll, cur you'll uh, curve that later. So it'll be kind of pointy at first, but you'll see later on how I curve those, uh, those curves for the wheels. Okay, I'm almost done with this shape. So that's going to be one complete shape by itself. And then you close it up. Okay, good. Uh, now I'm going to fill it with color so it makes it easier for when I have to curve things. I'm clicking on the wheel tab so I can see what color I want. I don't really like using the other uh, tabs. Stroke paint, you can leave it black. Okay, I click the edit paths um, tool. Now I'm going to curve the lines so they match the edge of the outline of the car, of the picture of the car. Don't forget you can move nodes. Okay, good. That's good. Curve this top here a little bit. Okay. Now watch how I curve the wheel curves here. Okay. Uh, where you grab the line really matters. So if you grab a line in the middle, it's going to curve from the middle. See how it kind of warps it? Um, don't forget you can that each node has those little lines exiting off of it. You can grab those and manipulate those too. Um, now here I have a little bit of trouble and uh, I might even delete some of these nodes. So if you if you get stuck on something and you want to just curve it better, you can click on a node and you can delete it using the delete key on the keyboard. Um, there's also some other options that you're going to see here in a moment. Uh, when, when you have a node selected, so watch my mouse, so I click on that, that's to make selected nodes smooth. It'll smooth out the node. Um, I don't really like the way this is looking. So I'm going to click on this one and just delete it. I can put that in the middle and then really curve my lines better. So as you're doing this, pause it and then try it. So like right now would be a good time to pause and give this a shot. That was the bell. Don't worry about that. So I'm double clicking here to get that extra point right there because I missed that in the beginning. 
and that's okay. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay. So now I have the basic shape of the car. I'm going to move it to the right side here in a moment. Um, and then I'm going to start drawing other parts of the car, like the window and the, and the uh, side view mirrors. And then I'm going to draw the rims. So, again, I'm going to stop talking now. I want you to uh, watch the video. Watch what I do first, and then pause the video, and then try it. So keep that in mind. Watch what I do first, pause it, and then try. All right, good luck with this. If you have any questions or get stuck, don't hesitate to ask me.